talking about being canceled in Hollywood, honey? First Back of all, Chris up. doesn't care. Chris, they don't no, care. But they she... want you talking about them. <laughs> I, I will not Chris speak out against Miss Jenner. Kim's a genius. Look, they're, I mean, they don't care. They don't care what the ratings are. And they get the game, which the game is the perception is we are doing phenomenal. And I, I like adore Chris. We will meet her in real life someday. And I will tell, I will give her all her flowers. She deserves them. Chris is another one. Like I've given advice to Bethany Frankel. Chris's next move. Chris and Kim should have a show where they help businesses and brands and they ought to take influencers, get your brand back on track. You've been canceled. How to get uncanceled like that uncanceled they should do the kardashians version of uh, tabitha's takeover yeah that would be huge how to deal with the media i mean they'll never give their secrets away i don't blame them it's why they're number one they'll stay number one but someday they should give away their secrets how they've how they've worked the daily mail how they've worked probably it's writing a check but you know write the check darling um unfortunately skims is a great company unfortunately i will not Associate with them because I am in bed with honeylove.com slash velvet, 20% off if you want boobs like Sarah's. But I think Skims is nice too. Um, well, Jeff's show is canceled. So I'm sorry. It, it does appear that it's not going to be returning. I think he even had a quick snippet. And full disclosure, I didn't listen to the whole thing where he, I think he didn't say it was canceled, but I think he's like, you know, I'm always working on a plan B. I saw that where he was like, you know, our radio show might be canceled one day. And there's always a plan. Hey, hey. Yeah, I mean, Nothing I haven't said. I say this. I more power to Jeff. Jeff looks Jeff's a smart businessman. Yes. You always got to have a plan B. You all want to cancel us here? We, we have a plan B. Please don't. Not today. Like maybe in a few weeks, but not today. But we have a plan B. Plan B. You always got to have a plan B. Yeah, mine's like to have be a mom, like have three kids, live in a trailer, start smoking cigarettes, parliament, light 100s again. Um, Hot. document it. Hot. Yeah. Oh my God, get like a boob job, document it, become a foot fetish model. Oh, like you that should is my just, dream. you should do, why don't you do a reality show called Bad Mom <laughs> and oh. just, why don't you do the reality version of it and just smoke around the kids, like in their face, like just be like a hillbilly mom. I would a thousand percent do that. Did I, I just, did I just I insult not- a whole bunch of people? It's not far off. The only thing I don't okay. do is really smoke. Well, I, I just because I just because of my children, and you know, can you smoke fake cigarettes for the show? To be fair, <gasps> okay. Pers- okay. okay. Yeah. Done. Uh, speaking of, I'm sorry, Jeff's show is canceled, but uh, someone has a new show on Lifetime. Loves Housewives. We have Denise Richards and Nene Leakes at Honey Housewives. We had Lisa Rinna in the classic, brilliant number one movie of the year, Mommy Meanest. We had Bethany Danger in the dorm. What housewife is next? I see Erica Jane heading there soon. But Nene Leakes has a new show. Yeah, it's a dating show, correct? Like a love dating show let me her get- name is in the title darling i saw the trailer it's called outrageous love with nini leaks and uh july 1st it is it is already started at 10 p.m on lifetime um and it will highlight the ups and downs of couples love lives with commentary by leaks who will also draw from her life experiences to give additional insight now Looking at the trailer, it seems like these are just clips and stuff. And Nini is just, I think mm. Nini is like perched up on her throne in Atlanta. I mean, I don't think this was such a hard film. Maybe she went to LA to film it, but this looks like a decent, I mean, you know, her name is in the title. If this does well, we might, you know, Nini is, and watching the trailer and listening to it and, and, and she's going to, I have to say, it does remind you of just like how good like Nini is like Bethany. Like she just is, right? She has, it's almost like you don't deserve to be totally canceled just because you sued the network. You, you deserve, can I? you're not going to ever be back on NBC. Let me back the truck up. Who she's cares? done. Right, that's what I'm saying. But she's she's a real talent, this Nini. Okay, can I just tell you something? Mm-hmm. I've been reading about this show, you and mm-hmm. I talking about this show. I think Nini is about to have one of the greatest housewife comebacks. And do you know, do you know, I think Bethany will be taking advice from Nini because if you recall, what was it? Five months ago, six months ago, we were talking about what we considered to be kind of a disastrous interview of Nini on Bethany. It almost seemed like nothing. I have tea about that afterwards. Oh, 
Okay. It almost seemed like Nini didn't want to be there. If Greg were alive, he would have advised her differently. She seemed lost on that interview. She'd seem like she'd lost her confidence. Nini did. But can I give Nini insane credit right now? Nini did something that more people should do. And I've advised Bethany to do. She stepped back. Nini became very quiet. She did the YouTube thing for a minute. And maybe she still is, but it it didn't make any waves. There was no clickbait. She stepped back. She now landed this deal. And do, do I, I make a prediction. In a year, I think she's going to be back on top. There's some rumors that she had signed a deal to do a Zeus talk show. I think we are going to see a huge comeback. And I think we're going to see a comeback with a woman that has a direction. The, it, it, isn't it funny how the tides turn all the time in this entertainment business? No, of course, I could be eating crow. Bethany may be back on the reality reckoning in a year. She's like a superstar. But I think Nini is about to have a Lisa Renna type. She's back. This is her shot back on a huge network. This is very, very big for Miss Leaks. I think this is a phenomenal, phenomenal match for her. She's been through love. She's made it work with Greg after they had a separation. She's seen a spouse pass away. She has been, she was with him through his cancer battle and death. She, from a stripper to the cancer death to the huge, you know, Ryan Murphy, I freaking love this. I love this for her. I think she's about to just, I think she is going to be, Andy Cohen's going to be fucking eating her ass in 18 months. You watch. She will get the last laugh. And you know why? Because she's not thirsty. She's playing it now that she's not thirsty. There's no clickbait. There's no Kim Zolciak. I'm pregnant for the 18th time. She's pulled back. She. I feel like she's somebody got to her and is like, girl, know your worth. You're one of the greatest. Play it calm. And it's. I, I think this is going to be enormous. And I feel she's always played it kind of non-thirsty. I mean, kind of that interview, right? Like, but she, that you know, interview she, was a little sad uh, that, right. That interview is a little sad. No, I know for a fact, what's this that she, well, first of all, I know I know this for a fact. She contemplated that interview with Bethany. She, by the way, I also just want to let everyone know that while we're filming this, for those watching on YouTube, that someone has come off air and put a coffee cup down uh, next to Sarah and taking the other one. I wish someone was here in this apartment, like to bring me a coffee and take my dirty coffee cup away. I just want to let everyone know. People Get think married. I'm a diva. That's not worth getting married. It's called getting an assistant, um, which I can't keep an assistant because working with me is it's not it's not oh, no, I know. like it's just it's not. I, I'm I'm a lone wolf. But you know, unless you want to, if I hire someone, they have to solve problems and if i'm going to do everything better than you stay home call me now before you right call sarah before you accept a job with me now no i know for a fact that she contemplated she got the call from bethany she contemplated going she knew it was a bad idea she confided in someone that i know very well of like should i do this interview or should i not do this interview on the fence and also wasn't thrilled that it was being filmed in Greenwich on Bethany's territory. Like was kind of like, well, I have to go to her. You know, whether Bethany paid to get her there, I don't, I'm not even, I, I don't think she did, but she might have. But regardless of that, it was like, it's a 